Introducing the second seasons at Virginia Beach. Just like the summer season, you get the sun, the sand, the golf, the shopping, the boardwalk. Waiter. <laughs> the only difference is, it costs a lot less. So you've got money left for the important things. They want another lobster. The second season's at Virginia Beach. Call for more information. Prime's coverage of Rugby League is being brought to you by Corral Word Perfect, the best at word processing. It is halftime here at RFK Stadium. Ireland leading the USA by 8-4. to four. Let's head it down to Tim Singer, who's with the U.S. player coach, David New. All right, that's right, Derek. We're with David New, and it seemed like a turnaround of sorts in the last five minutes. You feel like you finally got the upper hand there? Well, we gained some momentum towards the end there, but I think the key is that if you're putting that much pressure on, you've got to get the ball across the stripe. We had a couple of chances there, and I thought a couple of good, decent ones that were turned down, but we've come up with some poor plays on that last couple, and I'm a bit to blame for that, so I'm going to try and rectify that next half. You're heading into the locker room to talk to the guys. It looked like they were frustrated. Are you trying to keep the spirits up there? Yeah, the spirits are good, real good. You know, we're in this match. We're right up to, our, in our, up to, it, to our eyeballs, no doubt about it. They got ahead 8 nothing. We're back 8-4. We've missed a couple of kicks at goal where we could be leading. So we're working hard. We're definitely coming out to win this. Right, thanks for talking to us. I know you have some work to do. That's David New. Right back up to you guys. Thank you, Tim Singer. And David New can afford to be reasonably happy with the way his players responded toward the end of that first half because really they lost things in the opening few minutes after having the Irish on the rack in many ways. They allowed Ireland to come back into things and control the tempo for the opening 20 minutes. Yeah, it was pretty surprising. The United States looked very flat early on in the game. You know, this constantly, we saw these three and four, uh, four on two, three on one overlaps on the outside, and it looked, you know, like the United States was in a lot of trouble. The Irish spotted something and were really taking advantage of it, and when it was 8 nothing right here, I saw a blowout. That was nine minutes into the game. Des Foy, the Killarney fullback going into the in-goal area. Nice overlap, but the USA responded with a try themselves late in the first half. Yeah, New started it going. Keith Cassidy off to Marcus Maffei. He showed his athletic abilities. Off to Preston. Preston, good instinct just to throw it here. Look at Erickson. Foul the play into the end zone. Just barely touches it down. Really instrumental in the United States coming back in this game. That made it 8-4. to four. The other scores. A penalty and a conversion from Phelan Comerford. The Irish wing three-quarter. So plenty of rugby left in this challenge match. Let's go back down once again to Tim Singer. Tim? Okay, thanks very much, Derek. I'm with Mark Cashin, who's the manager of the Irish team. Now, you guys took control in the early going. What happened there in the final 10 minutes? Well, we've just let them back into the game a little bit, but we have to raise a game and try and get back in, dominate as we did in the first 20, 30 minutes. Now, I see you're having a word with there. What's the attitude of this team? Well, it's still very good. Uh, we know that we can still do what we have to do, and uh, it's very positive, and it's all constructive, so we're going to do okay out of this. Okay, good luck in the second half. Thanks very much indeed. Thanks, Mark. That's Mark Cashin, manager of the Irish team. Derek? Only time will tell if the luck of the Irish will hold. They certainly dominated the opening half, posing problems for the American Patriots. We'll be back with more action from RFK after these messages. If you want full office suite power at a word processor price, look no further than Corel Word Perfect Suite. Corel Word Perfect Suite includes an exceptionally intelligent word processor, an award-winning spreadsheet, Amazing presentation graphics. Plus, business graphics and utilities. Hundreds of fonts and thousands of clip art images. Corel Word Perfect Suite delivers office suite power at a word processor price. It's tough to shine on the football field, but it's easy to shine on the road if you use Armor Isle protectant on your car's vinyl and rubber. And here's great news. Now there's Armor All for the paint. New Armor Plate Paint Protectant. Armor plate does for your paint what Armor All does for the rest of your car. Shines, protects, and really makes those colors pop. Beautiful. And you don't have to wreck your arm doing it. Boom! New Armor Plate Paint Protectant. Hey, it's like Armor All for your paint. It's time. Time to feel young. Time to really get in shape. To build muscle. To get stronger and more flexible. It's time to lose fat permanently, to look better, feel better, and have more energy. It's time to turn back the clock by weightlifting with Soloflex. 
Now's the perfect time to call Soloflex for your free brochure and video. Tired of cheap substitutes? Well, hang on! It's Prime World Championship Wrestling. The real deal. The biggest hams and body slams and faces only a mother could love. Catch the action Mondays on this regional sports network. Today's telecast is brought to you by Corral, the leader in CD-ROM technology. Welcome back to RFK Stadium here in Washington, D.C. World Rugby League here on Prime. Ireland leading the USA 8-4. to four. And the Irish have been very busy since arriving a couple of days ago. Not only with athletic events, but also with community affairs. Tim Singer down on the sideline takes up the story, Tim. Well, that's right, Derek. It's been a tour ODC for this Irish national team over the past couple of days. They've hit, of course, all of the obligatory night spots, very important in the sport of rugby, but they've also been making radio appearances and really taking in some of the sights. But this Irish team has been giving a little back as well. This was the scene yesterday at Howard University in Washington, D.C., the site of this year's Washington, D.C. annual Special Olympics. The concentration was on the basketball events, and there's a look at the Irish team, maybe learning a little bit about the sport of basketball as well, but certainly having a great time with the kids who are taking part in the Special Olympics. A lot of fun for everyone involved. Derek? All right, Tim, thank you very much. And I think as you will vouch, John Morgan, the Irish, great bunch of guys. Yeah, they've had a great week here, and the Irish eyes should be smiling on it for what they did with those Special Olympics kids. That was a, just a great feat. The Irish will get the second half underway. They lead 8-4 to four as the kick is taken by Lee Hanlon, the very talented scrum half, right down the throat of Marcus Maffei. There comes Erickson. Scored the try. With so much power, along with Preston, gets it down to the 20-meter line. He didn't take him off his feet. Here comes Marcus Maffei, fullback, who just loves the action. He just really is a great counterattacker, really has to be a part of the game to get into the mood of it. The fullback has to be a jack of all trades, and you can say the same for his Irish counterpart, Des Foy. Geno Seegers refuses to really go down. Look at him. Still, Look at the big guy, still on his feet, still on his feet. Who wants a piece of him? Great run by Geno Seegers into Irish territory. They feed it back now to Wallace. Here comes McGough, who had a great first half. I really think he's one of the most important players in the field for the United States. No turnovers. He really had about eight, nine hard tackles. Here comes Preston looking for an angle. Again, good meters from Preston up the middle. Class tackle. New will get this ball. Comes Probably. to Wallace, out to New. Let's watch for the kick as New swings it high toward the in goal area. Real test for Foy beside the posts. And Foy under pressure. Hits the post. Goodness. That was critical. Had he been tackled inside the in goal area, the Irish would have had to drop it out from the posts. He used the post very well. They used a couple of players. <laughs> there's a high tackle. Jeff Preston. Uh, there's a little fight going on, a little fist of cuffs. You don't want to see that. Connor O'Sullivan with Jeff Preston. And now all the players make their way into the melee. Yeah, well, it's interesting to see what Doug Keane does here. He's going to have to control the temper in this game. I would think he might send one of these guys to the sin bin. Bringing both players in, he might send them off. Let's watch it again, John Morgan. Well, we've had some, a lot of high tackles. Oh, but Jeff brought that forearm in there, and that's a no-no. And I wouldn't be surprised to see Jeff Preston off to the sin bin. That was a pretty high, dangerous tackle, and that's not what they want in the game. Referee Doug Keane talks it over with Preston and O'Sullivan. And they both shook hands. All appears to have been forgiven. I think they're very fortunate Preston wasn't sent into that sin bin or the penalty box as they, uh, as we know right here in uh, America. But it's another penalty for the United States. Penalty count right now. The Irish kick it out on the full. So they'll get the ball back midway inside their own half. They lead it eight to four. Ten penalties on the US, six on the Irish. There's McGough again, going down low, giving up his body. He's had an extraordinary game for the U.S. Eric Doyle with the play of the ball to Darren Clark. Clark wearing that scrum cap. So oh. a lot of the prop forwards up for that kind of headgear. If I was the Irish, every one of my forwards would have that on. <laughs> There's a bad pass, a turnover by the Irish. The Irish look a little unorganized compared to that first 10 minutes when they were running on all cylinders. So they'll pack the scrum just inside the Irish half of the field. The USA will get the feed. Well, if the USA scores here, they really can take the momentum. Wallace at the back. And you're changing with New. Now, good play out to the left. Balachandran. Chandran. Chandran. further to the left. 
the fullback, the five, Broussard is there. Out of bounds. Still a great effort, though. I mean, that's a great play by the U.S. They showed some good offensive uh, attacking there. And, hey, that's what they want to do. They want to get the ball, and Marcus Mafai hands on the outside where he can deliver to Lauren Broussard and Kevin Gettings like that. That was Gettings on the outside. That wasn't Broussard. Here comes, you know, Balachander did real good here. Smart to get it back to Marcus. Look at the guy counterattack from his fullback position. Gets it to Giddings. Giddings, a little inexperienced at Lake. Should have cut off, cut off that sideline, cut it back in. So the Irish having to do a lot of defending at the start of the second half, but they lead 8-4. to four. Uh, There's Preston starting to do what he does best. That wasn't Preston, it was Bo, excuse me. Doyle with the pass to Clark. There's McGuff. One of the replacements on for Ireland. That's number 16. Alan Robinson is number 16 for the Irish. And there's Bo up high. There's Geno Seegers. He likes to throw people backwards on their shoulder blades. McIlwain gets drilled. Here's the play of the ball for Ireland. Lee Hanlon. Uh, overlap. Out it goes to the left. Out of bounds. Cumberford. Ball had crossed the near sideline. Another turnover by the Irish. I'm very uncharacteristic. Last year, they probably didn't have six, eight turnovers in that whole game. I bet you they're closing, closing to that point right now. Tells you, though, that there is a lot of talent in the Irish ranks. It's a very different team. In fact, only one survivor, Darren Clark, who was a replacement last year. And that has not affected their performance in an adverse sense. Nice cutback play there. Terry Wallace uh, really working well with New. And it goes to New again. Look at this, Preston. Preston right up the middle. You are going to see Preston pass the ball. <laughs> he just likes to go in, give the, you know, automatically take the contact. Here's Wallace making a little play. Terry Wallace has been effective for the USA. They play the ball to New. Uh, Bo, a little flat-footed. Ah, nice play back to David New, though. Let's see what Gino wants. Gino Seegers wants to take it himself here. He should probably try to get it out. They had a little bit of momentum on the outside. Seegers. There's a penalty. Goes down. And There's another shot in front of the post for the U.S. Needless play. Darren Clark, it looked like. And it will be a penalty for the USA. Can they make it a two-point game here at RFK Stadium? They're trailing by four right now. Winter itch. I have more of a skin itch problem in the wintertime. It's not an unbearable itch, but it, it looks bad. Winter itch sufferers get relief with Gold Bond medicated powder. I like uh, Gold Bond uh, powder because of the medicated aspect. Gold Bond's triple action formula stops winter itch with a proven medicated itch fighter, the absorbing action of powder, and the drying action of zinc oxide. Gold Bond uh, helps to relieve um, winter itch. Certainly does uh, help to make a winter more bearable. Triple action Gold Bond medicated powder stops winter itch. Teaching children to save is a good idea, but next time, put that dollar in here and buy your child life insurance from Guarantee Trust Life Insurance Company. Call now for your free Great Start Kit. Just one dollar buys your child life insurance for three months. Your child is insured and you're protected financially. One dollar for three months, then just twenty dollars a year, so you'll have financial peace of mind. Call 1-800-454-7500 now. The men and the machines, the technology and the atrocities, the power and the horror of 100 years of war. The complete history of 20th century conflict, the century of warfare, from the experts at Time Life Video. Never before has the entire history of modern conflict been brought together in one comprehensive series. You'll see action you've never seen before at a price you won't get anywhere else. So call now to get Air War for only $4.99. This is an exclusive TV offer on Century of Warfare. It's 100 years of combat footage from both sides with secret film never seen before. So call now before it's too late. To order your Century of Warfare Air War video, call 1-800-861-9400 or send $4.99 plus $3.49 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. So David Bow now has a chance to make it an 8-6 to six game, and this is straight in front of the posts. About 24, 25 meters out. The USA failing with their kicking attempts today. Two by New, one by Bo. They desperately need this one. David Bo for the USA. 
And this time it's good. Two points the difference here at RFK Stadium. David Bowe comes through. Nice kick by David Bowe. Good for his uh, confidence now. And he's got a strong foot. Now watch the way the ball explodes off his foot. New is a lot more accurate as a softer kick. Watch this ball come off News or, uh, Bowe's foot. And again, he's got some long range with that too. The American Patriots were trailing eight to nothing, but now it's eight to six. The entire equation has been changed. Well, the Irish been making mistakes. That's been why the U.S. has come back into the game. The U.S. has shown some pretty good offense themselves. It's been pretty equal with missed opportunities down inside the red zone. But here comes the, the Irish on a counterattack. Uh, they ran right through the U.S. like they were standing still there. Good run by Robin Gregg. As the Irish spread play among their backs again. Doug Erickson and Ryan McGough. Alan Robinson there for Ireland. Uh, 30, 40 yards, they made in three plays, so the Irish starting to show a little bit more offensive prowess than they had earlier. Good drive by McIlwain, getting it into U.S. territory. Now Doyle. There's Preston. Nice play, though. As the Irish try to spread it out to the right. Hanlon, good, good pass out to the right side. And a strong run here, Big Brown. Last tackle coming up. See what the Irish can smart to pin the U.S. in their own end zone. Watch for the kick by Hanlon, getting it into the end goal area. Who will get there? Now the question is, was it put over the dead ball line by a U.S. hand or an Irish hand? Well, the U.S. is going to come out to the 25. Uh, they're going to have to kick it, looks like, from there. From deep inside their own area, John. Yep. As number 10, Darren Clark was trying to pile on the pressure. David New. David New kicking it out on the full. So the U.S. is going to be able to take this. RFK Stadium here in Washington, D.C. for the second year in a row playing host to this Rugby League International. A good offense there from both teams. The United States brought it deep into the Irish zone, got two points out of it. The Irish brought it deep into the U.S. zone and didn't get any points, but they really pressured the U.S. Here comes Seegers. Dino Seegers, battleship, still pumping, still going, forcing the Irish defenders to stay with him. Now new. Bow. David Bow. Nice play. Switch Fred Gruller in on the act as well. U.S. is a lot more confident the way they're distributing this ball. David New once again in there. Preston. Nice switch out to the left. Tenacious play by the American Patriots. Yeah, they're a lot more aggressive and confident to see if they spin out and get an advantage out here. Wallace. Defeat to Balachandran. Drives up the middle. Three Irish defenders with him. Wrestled now, down by McElhatton. Now the Irish have got their defense set very well. The U.S. had them on the run, backtracking there. Now they're set. David New. Little push pass. Working with oh, Mafai. Fumbled. fumbled the ball, though. Picked up by Wallace. Referee's going to let it go. He's going to give him a fresh six, looks like. Now he's calling something. Referee Doug Keane. Injuries. Right in on the play. And the trainers rush on. Medical time out there. But the USA players storming back into the game. They trail by two. I cannot live another day without air conditioning. Says tomorrow's going to be hotter. Hotter? Like yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday you said you'd call Sears. I'll call today. You call now. I'll call now. Now's the time to save on Sears installed central air conditioning. Get 0% finance charge, no billing, and no payments until August with the Sears Charge Home Improvement Plan. Call now for a free in-home estimate on a Kenmore air conditioning system. State-of-the-art engineering means greater energy efficiency. A new Kenmore could save 10 to 44% on your annual cooling costs. In time, even pay for itself. Sears also offers fast emergency installation, a five-year warranty on parts and labor, plus our satisfaction guarantee. And you know Sears will be there to back it up. Get 0% finance charge, no billing, no payments until August. Offer ends May 31st, so call now and save with Sears. So what's the paper say about tomorrow? Another scorcher. Cool. On the track and in the pit, the top drivers in the fastest cars prepare for the world's greatest race. Countdown to Indy, beginning Monday on your regional sports network. Another injury problem for the USA. Fullback Marcus Mafai limps off. 
yeah, he looks like he really got rocked on this counterattack on the inside, and I don't know if we're going to see Marcus back. I've been saying all along he's a warrior. Really hurts the United States. Makes a jump out of there, but here the ball slips out. Oh, and they come down on his head, so I think Marcus got, may have been concussed there. That really hurts the United States. Young Lee Hanlon made the tackle for Ireland. You can see Mafai trying to figure out what day it is. So they back down for the scrum. Just inside the U.S. half of the field. New comes away with it. Very seldom do you see the ball go against the head in rugby league. In other words, the team with the feed losing the scrum. You see that? Uh, New's trying to get Lauren Broussard action. There's a bad play by Lauren Broussard playing the ball, which the U.S. doesn't really do that well all the time. It's a half-hearted play. The ball, New now working with Fred Gruller up over the middle. Yeah, he's it's like a stamina for a big man. Big, powerful fullback in football. Now New. There's Terry Wallace. Pre uh, Preston and Wallace. Preston on the far side. That was Preston, not Wallace. You're right. This is Weaving run now by Kevin Giddings. Back with Preston, out to New for the USA. Little shuffle of the high, up and under. Who will catch it? Takes an awkward bounce. Oh, somebody gets drilled there. And that's going to be a turnover to a fresh six for Ireland. The USA used up at least six more of its possessions. Game's really in a lull right now. It's really uh, flat. Either team really, you know, like they're waiting around for the other team to make the mistake. Tackling's still been ferocious, though, both teams. If anything, I would venture to say it we've is. seen more errors this year than we did last year. Yeah. Perhaps a Both teams have squandered lane. good opportunities. Work, work the spot, lane. Oh, there's a, a high tackle. Play the ball for Ireland, Go. just inside the U.S. half. Darren Clark linking up with George Slicker. A lot of space here for Ireland out on the left. There's Wallace. Terry Wallace. A little help from his friends, David New. Comes back now to Martin Keenahan, working with Andy Burgess. Goes uh -oh. a poor play here, Tom McCabe is away. McCabe surely must score for Ireland, he does. Tom McCabe with a breakaway try. And it's 12 to six in favor of the Irish. Very lazy defensive play by the U.S. It's like Prince Hill was really didn't know which way to go. He had the sideline outside of him, and the guy ran inside of him and just let him go. Tom McCabe, one of the team leaders, and Ireland up by six. If you want full office suite power at a word processor price, look no further than Corel Word Perfect Suite. Corel Word Perfect Suite includes an exceptionally intelligent word processor, an award-winning spreadsheet, amazing presentation graphics, plus business graphics and utilities, hundreds of fonts and thousands of clip art images. Corel Word Perfect Suite delivers office suite power at a word processor price. Brought to you by the world leader in Windows graphics software, Corel Print House is the fast and easy way for everyone to create great looking greeting cards, stationery, banners and more. Work with professionally designed samples or start your own creations from scratch. With Corel Print House, it's only a few easy steps to any printing project. Get creative. Get Corel Print House, the easy all-in-one graphics powerhouse exclusively for Microsoft Windows 95. In our world, engineering and imagination know no boundaries. Introducing Corel Draw 6, the complete 32-bit graphics suite exclusively for Microsoft Windows 95. Only Corel Draw 6 delivers 5 graphics applications, 8 utilities, 25,000 clipart images and symbols, 1,000 photos, 1,000 fonts, plus over 750 3D models. Get acquainted with the leader. The time is now. Poise. Power. The search is on for world-class bowling. It's as simple as the ABC World Team Bowling Challenge with a new stop every week on this regional sports network. Derek Ray, John Morgan welcoming you back to RFK Stadium. Tom McCabe with a spectacular try for Ireland, a six-point lead for that. Yeah, just watch the hole that just all of a sudden appears for Tom. There's a couple U.S. guys, four guys standing there, right through the gap. Try to figure out where his uh, defensive counterpart was. Tom McKay, the center, 
Makes his home in Dublin, plays for the Dublin Blues. Very positive influence on the team. We were talking with Tom yesterday, and he's very excited about this international stadium influence on the team. But now, Phelan Comerford will have a chance to make it an eight-point game, and that could be critical in the grand scheme of things, keeping in mind how ineffective the American kicking game has been today. Well, they've had more squatter opportunities in this half than the Irish did in the previous half, but that goal line stand down there with the U.S.'s second goal, more or less, in the two-yard line, they tried to jab it over with two short runs. That really turned around a cost them. They came right back out, and that's where they got the score from there. Phelan Comerford is two for two kicking today. Had two early successful attempts, the penalty, and then the conversion after the Des Foy try. So Phelan Comerford from wide on the left will try to draw this back. Comerford, very composed young player. And this time he tries to hook it back, but not quite enough. It was a good kick. There was plenty of uh, distance. Didn't have enough draw on the ball. Was drawing a little, but not a sufficient amount. We'll return in a moment. Hey, that car's dull and dry. Looks like it needs some body wet. No, not that. New Body Wet by Black Magic. It's the world's first clear car polish with the unique wet look. Body Wet gives you a shine that's so rich, so thick, it actually looks wet. It really is easy to give your car the most incredible high-gloss finish you've ever seen. Get a superior shine with the innovative Body Wet by Black Magic. Now only $14.95. And if you call today, we'll send you a second bottle of Body Wet for just $5 more. But wait, we'll also give you the incredible Tire Wet by Black Magic absolutely free. One quick mist with Tire Wet and your tires will look brand new again. All this for just $19.95. So if your car looks dry, give Body Wet a try. Call now. Have your credit card ready and call 1-800-749-3399 or send $14.95 for one bottle or $19.95 for two bottles with Tire Wet plus $5.95 shipping to Body Wet, P.O. Box 2978, Framingham, Massachusetts. I wanted a drafting career where I could draw more than just a good salary. Computers are the future of drafting, and I'm part of it. I trained in computer-aided drafting at ITT Technical Institute. ITT Tech could mean a successful future for you, too. Call ITT Technical Institute at 1-800-522-5333 for an informative brochure. Call now. That's 1-800-522-5333. The American Patriots play the ball. The ball bouncing out in midfield. David New now for the USA. New with a little one-handed pass and the high kick. As they try to pressure the Irish. Bounces awkwardly for Des Foy. Goes into his own in goal area. A scramble for the ball, but the whistle has been sounded. They call a penalty there or something here. What's it called? Irish player still down on the end zone. He's calling a penalty on Lauren Broussard. Broussard going in for the USA. Des Foy was the man under the gun for Ireland. Watch it hit the goalpost. No, it just missed the goalpost there. And also they rushed to get it out. And I don't know what they called there, but the ball was free. Great. They called the penalty for something. Maybe Lauren Broussard was offsides before the kick. Kicked out on the full by Ireland. They get it back with the play of the ball taken by Keenahan. Power running now by McIlwain. There is good play there. Nice play by Ireland. Good support to Connor O'Sullivan. And Ryan McGough gets his 19th tackle. Keenahan now with a feed out to his right. McElhatton. Nice reversal there. Preston's got him, though. No, he got away from Preston. Sandy Burgess now powering up the middle for Ireland. 10 meters inside U.S. territory. And McGough with his 20th tackle. Quick feed out now for Connor O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan with a one-handed pass. Good play now. Keenahan. They're all supporting one another effectively now. Just within inches of the 20-meter line. Back it goes to Keenahan. Hanlon gets it back. Hanlon likes to be the man of the center of things for Ireland. Yeah, now Des Foy. Gaining good ground. Yeah, look how quickly the Irish play the ball. Look how quickly they set up. They got the big overlap here. They it's just go back inside with it. Lee Hanlon's pass. Picked off by Fred Gruller. Doug Erickson hurt coming off the field over here. The Irish were rapidly running out of tackles. Now a chance for the USA to go forward with the ball. Bal Chandran looking for room. 
Several U.S. players have been in the wars today. Now new, working with David Bowe. Yeah, Bowe has seen all sorts of action. Taken down by Keenahan. Play the ball for the USA just over the 20-meter line. There's a high tackle. Referee Another penalty. Doug Keen right on the spot again. Ryan McGuff in the thick of things for the USA. And yet another injury. That has been one of the features of this game. The USA down by six points. Doug Erickson's being attended to. It's obviously, as you can see, in the knee area, always a sensitive area, and another always exposed area in the sport of rugby. If he's anything like all the other players we've seen, he'll be eager to get back into this game shortly. However, it's just an example of how tough and physical the sport of rugby can be. Sam Singer with the update from the sideline of the American players now in good shape. Mafai away for the USA. And always oh, just taken down inches from the line. Can the USA players uh, keep they going? Held them up. They held them up again. This is where the US becomes very impatient. They try and take it in. Cassidy should get the ball out here, not do it himself. Keith Cassidy to David New. Swivel by New. Oh, it's fumbled by Afu Hamango. He's called him offside. Offsides on Ireland, the United States. They maybe they should think about the points here, but they got fresh six. And they're going for it. It's new. The quick pass out to Bo. Can he use his power? Get up and play the ball quick. They'll have a chance. If not, the Irish defense will set. There's no. David New goes in. Try. Surely a try for yes, the it USA. Is. It is. And he's going to be a chance to convert and tie the game. Well fitting that it's David New. Who knocks it over the line for the USA? The captain, the coach, the scrum half, the jack of all trades. Well, he sees this play here. He knows what's going on. I mean, he's been through many wars like this. Uh, no substitute for experience. I mean, here's the quick play of the ball by Bo, though. That's what set that thing up. Bo got up, played that ball quick, knew what to do with it. And it's interesting to see New why not take the kick. It's going to be Bo. This is where Bo missed from before. All the pressure is on David Bow. The ball Good. game is tied at RFK Stadium. Ireland 12, the USA 12. And our coverage will continue after these messages. When sports cream, when legs are sore, when backs ache, when muscles hurt, why sports cream? Rubbing it in brings fast pain relief. No medicine smell. Why sports cream? Because it works. Classical Thunder, the most explosive collection of music you've ever heard. Get Classical Thunder on two cassettes for just $14.99 or two compact discs for $16.99. You can preview other classical favorites albums. Satisfaction guaranteed. Classical Thunder. Call now. To order Classical Thunder, call 1-800-720-5353 or send $14.99 for two cassettes or $16.99 for two CDs plus $3.50 shipping to the address on your screen. All tied up at 12 here in Washington, D.C., the USA versus Ireland. This is a game that has seen a lot of variety, and that certainly suggests just what rugby players are about. Taking a look at our roster, the Irish team, they're all from all over Ireland. In fact, one player, don't tell anyone, is from Northern Ireland, which last I heard was actually part of England. As for the Americans, sea to shining sea. Players from Washington, D.C., all the way out to California. You've got lawyers, loggers, teachers, a lot of variety in rugby. All right, Tim Singer, Derek Ray, John Morgan back with you. All even, as Tim said, at 12. Uh, this game very reminiscent of what we saw 12 months ago when the Irish snatched it late on by a score of 24 to 22. Ireland has never trailed in this game. 
Uh, Balachandran doing some yeoman work down there. Or no, excuse me, that's Prince Hill. A couple good tackles. Oh, there's no, he's very lucky to get a penalty there throwing that four. Look at David New. I mean, the guy can't get enough. Eric Doyle at the controls now for Ireland, working with Connor O'Sullivan. He's had some impressive runs. Yeah, Fred Gruller with tackle number 18. Now Doyle switching it back to Craig McElhatton. The long kick bounces awkwardly from Afai, who's back with us after that injury. He's a pretty good counterattack player, though. Marcus Mafai dodging his way down to a position midway inside the U.S. half of the field. Wallace. Gains a couple of meters. Eric Doyle in on the tackle for Ireland. Doyle the captain. Gruller. The unmistakable Humble. figure of Gruller loses the ball, and the Irish have it. Can they take advantage of this? Doyle. Uh, Gruller goes in there awful high, and sometimes that exposes the ball for a head to come in there, and that's what happened. That's what split that ball from Fred. There's David Newell going up high again. Uh, I think he's very fortunate. Keen, Doug Keen, the referee, has been very, very uh, lenient for, for both sides. Doyle with the pass out to Hanlon. Now Darren Clark. Good power running shown by Clark. Wallace is there. USA seems very suspect on their defense on the outside. Connor O'Sullivan now on the right. The Irish... Building momentum. They're at the 20 meter line of the USA. Look how quickly they play the ball. Lee Hanlon. Nice interchange with McElhatton. But then they lose it. And David New is there to mob it up for the USA. So he just sets the ball. He knows he's got a fresh six. He might be hurt. I think he might be hurt. That would be bad news for the Patriots. That would be disaster. There's nobody else in the field can control play for the US like that. USA with the ball midway inside their own half. Just over 10 minutes remaining in this one. All even at 12. Notice Terry Wallace, number six for the U.S., also getting up pretty slow. So now we're starting to see people hurting late in this game. Couple heavyweights in the last two rounds. And it's tied up. It's all even on the cards. New with the pass. Afu Hamango. That's Balachandran. Melchandra well, out to think of the action there, just inside the Irish half of the field. Last tackle. This will go to New. We'll see what he's going to do with it this time. New's kick, and he tries to find touch. It takes a perfect bounce. Fresh six for the Irish, starting from inside their 20. So the U.S. Ball out of bounds. All even at 12 here at RFK Stadium. What you're about to see shocked me. And if you love cats and wild animals, you may not want to watch. Tigers. They're being shot, poisoned, snared, and butchered by poachers who sell them on the black market. Tigers are disappearing faster than any large mammal on Earth. 95,000 tigers have been killed since the turn of the century. There are only about 5,000 left alive. And many think it'll be a miracle if tigers survive another 10 years. But World Wildlife Fund is working with our international partners to stop the killing. You can be a part of this life-saving work by joining the Wildlife Rescue Team. Your monthly gift of $18 or a one-time gift can help stop another tiger from being slaughtered. Please, call now. The competition. The determination. The drama. The elation. The English League highlights. Catch up on all the action every week on this regional sports network. They pack the scrum deep inside the Irish half of the field. Ireland 12, the USA 12. I think the Irish smart get the ball outside. They've had a lot of success on the outside of the field against the U.S. Play the ball for Ireland. Lee Hanlon's in there. Working with McElhatton, then down goes Tom McCabe, who scored the second Irish try today, the first by fullback, Des Voy. Jeff Preston, high in the double digits, 16 tackles for Preston. There's his counterpart, Gruller, up near 20. Connor O'Sullivan going down, the Irish There's working Gruller their again. way down the left. 14 is McFinley, jousting it out with Gruller, who makes the tackle. Nobody was in front of that player, nobody marked him. Oh, this is where the U.S. Defense is suspect. Phelan Comerford. And he's out of bounds. That's a bad mistake by the Irish. Didn't that want was... to do that. Phelan twisting and turning and trying to keep it in play. But they'll pack the scrum and it will be a U.S. put in. 
David New. Who's the fitter team right now? That's what's going to determine this outcome. Who's got the extra gas left in the tank? Overtime is a real possibility. Ah, the Irish just stole the scrum from the ice. Against the head. You seldom see that in rugby league. And here's Hamlin now. Nice I turn by Hamlin. Up. They lose the ball, though, and the U.S. gets it back. It's all happening out there. Broussard. Now Giddings. Play the ball for the USA. Mistakes have been a big part of this game. Of course, that adds to the excitement. Uh, there's, there's players and bodies all over this field. David New now switching it Ooh. to Fred Gruller. There's some high tackling. He's letting all, he's very lenient referee. He's allowed the play to flow. Now David New carries the ball for the USA. Down to their final tackle here. A lot of tackling up high. It's pretty interesting he's let all this go. Gavin Baker checks in for Ireland. So there's the long kick. Not really doing the Americans much good. It's fielded by Coverford. Philip Coverford here. racing toward the halfway line. It's Doug Erickson. Good tackle, good chase there. Erickson with Cassidy. And the referee, Doug Keane, steps in as Cumberford went down. Yeah, there's again, there's bodies all over the field. There's one Irishman off to the left. I can't see who that number is. Trainer Kate Curran calling for some help. The trainers have had a lot to do today. Of course, that is the nature of rugby league. Is that Des Foy over there? Is that number one? I don't see number one on the field. Yeah, I do see number one. That's not Foy. I'll leave it at 12 points apiece. Ireland and the USA. Phelan cover for a try to make progress for the Irish down the left. Run! Injuries, as we said, have really been a feature of today's play. Here's the latest one. Yeah, Ryan McGuff comes in here. A couple of Irishmen tackle. That's number four. Number four for Ireland. That's Tom McCabe that I think took Ryan's hips right into his head. And then on the way down, I think, you know, it's a case of probably a slight concussion. David New knows that the job of trying to pull out victory here rests on his shoulders. So they're going to take McCabe off the other side of the field. They're going to start play. Tom McCabe limping off. There's Tom. Scorer of the second try for Ireland today. And I wonder if Tom has perhaps seen the last of this game. Let's go downstairs once again, Tim Singer. Well, as you just mentioned, Derek, it is sort of a case of the walking wounded now some 73 minutes into this game, a game which some players have played the entire duration of. Now, keep in mind, it's tough to gauge which team is the better conditioned team because these are all-star squads, so really even the coaches sometimes don't know about the conditioning level of some of their players. I can tell you one thing, though, that is unique to this game in rugby league. There is here in Washington free substitution, so it could be that one or two very fresh players who make the difference here in the final minutes and the minutes are ticking away we have just under seven minutes to go I'll leave it at 12 the Irish try to gain distance Andrew McIlwain up the middle to play the ball to Eric Doyle it's a real crucial set of downs for the United States uh, the Irish are coming right at him with the forwards and their forwards produce some very nice drop kick drop going kick by Lee Hanlon no good Hanlon not far away and that was a smart play by Hanlon down to their final tackle and in this situation, a drop kick could be the difference. Well, it could come down to that drop kick. I would, uh, the advantage right now goes to Ireland. I think they have the better kickers on the field. Handling getting into position here, John Morgan. Very quick foot, very quick release. Just missed it. A little bit off to the left. Wasn't much in that at all. Play the ball for the USA. David New again in there, working this time with Ryan, Ryan McGuff. Boy, has he been a charger. Three Irish defenders have to knock him down. Now New again, trying to fool out Fox, the Irish. Terry Wallace still on his feet. He was down and out a Wallace couple minutes ago. The standoff, New again. Broussard drives down on the right. Uh, turnover. 
been an all too familiar tale. He used the word turnover on numerous occasions this afternoon. Kevin Baker, number three for Ireland. He's had a good game. Especially in the first half when his blistering speed posed problems for the U.S. This time the put-in is by McElhatton for Ireland. Hanlon stands off. Baker up the middle. Terry Wallace on another tackle. Looks like he went, got recharged someplace. Lee Hanlon, now Andy Burgess, determined play by Burgess into the U.S. half. Gruelers there, the two tough guys together. And Cassidy assists on the tackle. Burgess, the loose forward. Doyle spears it out to Mick Finley. Look at Finley go. They can't stop him. It's still Finley for Ireland. And now McElhatton. They broke a couple tackles. Preston's one of them. Over the 20-meter line. The Irish looking a little bit more fit here. Lee Hanlon. Twisting and turning, still Hanlon, back to Doyle. Out the feet goes to the right, waiting there is Mick Brown. Oh. Fred Grueler knocking Brown to the ground. Surely a penalty here as the pushing and shoving begins. And we don't want to see that today. It's like a hockey game just happened here. It surely is. Preston coming over to top. Preston, Look. and there's going to be some sin bin here. There's got to be some separation. But I was saying before, there's been a lot of high tackles in this game, and the referees allowed it to go, and this is the result. Well, surely action will be taken here by Doug Keene. He was leaning it earlier in a similar situation. Well, this is just stupid. I mean, on your front of your own post in a tie game, he comes in like that. I mean, Fred, I wouldn't call that the most intelligent play in sport. I mean, midfield, you can do that. You can't do things like that in front of your own post. Referee Doug Keane in the center of things. The two touch judges, Sean Morgan and Ross Hicks, get involved as well as they try to talk it over. I'll leave it at 12, but the Irish with a chance to go ahead. If you're serious about developing rock-hard abs, well, there's only one choice. It's the Ab Roller Plus. It's the last abdominal product you'll ever have to buy. Introducing the Ab Roller Plus, the only complete abdominal workout that supports your head and neck for a safe yet super intense abdominal workout. These people have never used the Ab Roller Plus before today. When I tried, it was phenomenal. My back didn't hurt, my neck didn't hurt. I think it's a lot easier than doing sit-ups. It's easier in the neck and back. For just three easy payments of $29.95, we'll include this free five easy moves in five minutes workout video. Get maximum results with minimum strain. Call and order the Ab Roller Plus right now. Make the call today and get the Ab Roller Plus. Use your credit card. Call 1-800-344-6677 to order the Ab Roller in just three payments of $29.95 plus $12.95 shipping in U.S. funds. Or send check or money order to the address shown. That's 1-800-344-6677. Call now. It's time. Time to feel young. Time to really get in shape. To build muscle. To get stronger and more flexible. It's time to lose fat permanently. To look better, feel better, and have more energy. It's time to turn back the clock by weightlifting with Soloflex. Now's the perfect time to call Soloflex for your free brochure and video. Derek Rick, John Morgan back at RFK Stadium. Ireland 12, the USA 12 is our score with just over three minutes remaining, but the Irish have been given a gift here, a penalty right in front of the posts. They also got Fred Gruller has been sent to the sin bin. I see sell 12 players in the field for the United States, 8, 11, 12. He's been sin bin probably for the rest of this game. Let's count the Irish players, four, eight, 12, 13, so the Irish not only are gonna have a kick in front of the post, which looks like it's automatic, the U.S. is gonna be playing a man down the rest of the way. So Fred Gruen not only commits the penalty that gives him the easy kick, he's also off the field for the rest of the game. Phelan Comerford is the kicker for Ireland. There's Gruler, the man who was sent to the sin bin, as it's termed, in rugby league, for that piece of unnecessary roughness. All eyes, meanwhile, are on Phelan Comerford, the Ireland kicker. This would make it a 14-12 game. He's two for three kicking today. But this is the easiest attempt of all. Comerford, 14-12 is how it stands here in Washington, D.C. Yeah, you make a stupid mistake like that in a dead score game in front of the post. 
you know, it's like almost giving the Irish the victory here. The, uh, I think Fred Gruller will have a few words with his teammates after the game about that one. You do it at midfield, you can get away with it. You can't do that in front of your post. Shades of what happened last year when the Irish left it late, but won 24 to 22 after trailing in the closing stages here. They were all even, but have snatched the lead once again. They have never been behind today. So they will kick it off with Lee Hanlon. The low bouncing kick fielded by New. Marcus Mafia. They're going to have to get some of their speed people. Just take a chance. Stop giving it to the forwards. Get it outside. Get it Prince Hill, Kevin Giddings, Lauren Broussard. That's where they got to find it. There's no looking for the passes. There he goes to Lauren Broussard immediately. And that's the guy with the speed burners. Broussard hasn't quite been the factor this year that he was against Ireland 12 months ago. This is Kevin Giddings with some Prince Hill with some good moves. They get it down to midfield. Their only hopes get the ball and the speed. Just over two minutes to go. The great hands there by David Bow. Bow and New have had to carry a lot of the load themselves. Here's New. With a cast on his left oh, arm. Mistake. Fumble. Recovered, luckily from the U.S. standpoint, by Conor O'Sullivan. You know, in defense of Fred Gruller, uh, his nickname's 100% Fred, and he has given 120% out here today. Unfortunately, it was that late high tackle that probably cost the USA the victory. The ball was knocked forward, meanwhile, by the USA, so it will be a scrum feed going to Ireland. Now they could just let the seconds run off the clock. Yeah, they possess the ball here for six. It's probably going to take all the time off the clock, so... U.S. is looking for some kind of break, and then they got to turn that break into points. Martin Keenahan. There's the clock. One minute and 30 seconds remaining. Ireland up by two. And you can't rip the ball out of these arms like some people think in football. Uh, you, you know, you got to play it. Nice play by Ireland. Foy getting the feed from O'Sullivan. Good tackle by Prince Hill. They're midway inside the U.S. half of the field. McElhatton. Now Lee Hanlon. That's nice instruction. He got away with it. Hanlon's still going, though. Lee Hanlon for Ireland. Gavin Baker supports him off to his right. Boy, he's showing some great quickness late in this game. We expected that out of him, and he's really coming up big late. Now it comes to Burgess. Andy Burgess bludgeons his way. Last tackle. They might go for a drop goal right here. We're inside the final one minute. Ireland leading by two. And There's here's the, the drop. drop goal attempt. It's Hanlon. Did he get it? Why? No. Yeah, that drop goal would have given three points, take that penalty advantage away from the U.S. Well, this is it. I might see, you might see some trickery here. David New might just go for the big kick. Now he goes for Bo. I would think that they're going to go for a kick here. Get it out deep to one of their speed guys. The USA with only 20 seconds in which to work. Yeah, he's got to go to No, got to go for the speedsters with a kick. The quick pass out to the right, Mafai. New was there. He's trying to kick it to him. A little grub kick, catch it in the air. No, nope, didn't work. That might be the USA's last chance. It's Foy. Twisting and turning for Ireland. Gets it into a good position. The seconds winding down. That's it. It's all over. That for the second year in a row. No, he didn't call the yet. Excuse me, he called the penalty. Check that. Hold that thought, John Morgan. <laughs> Apparently, the final whistle was not you? sounded by referee Doug Keane. Well, the field clock's run out. Of course, the referee controls the clock in the field. But this is injury time right here. We're into injury time is what the, the last part of it is. And they say it's never over till it's over. But if I could put a bet in right now, I think it's over. A high kick and just gets it over the line. That's a beautiful positional kick from the Irish point of view by Cumberford. And they have the ball now, six more. Inside the 10-meter line. Maybe they could finish it off here. That's it. Darren Clark goes there down. Is. This time it's official. The Irish are victorious for the second year in a row. The last three internationals for the U.S., they lost to Russia 28-26. Now they've lost twice to uh, Ireland 24-22 last year. This game here 14-12. They just can't get over that edge. Ireland was never behind. And in the end, they had enough to see them through. We'll return with our post-game activities in a moment. If you want full office suite power at a word processor price, look no further than Corel WordPerfect Suite. Corel WordPerfect Suite includes an exceptionally intelligent word processor, an award-winning spreadsheet, amazing presentation graphics, 
plus business graphics and utilities, hundreds of fonts and thousands of clip art images. Corel WordPerfect Suite delivers office suite power at a word processor price. Brought to you by the world leader in Windows graphics software, Corel Print House is the fast and easy way for everyone to create great looking greeting cards, stationery, banners and more. Work with professionally designed samples or start your own creations from scratch. With Corel Print House, it's only a few easy steps to any printing project. Get creative. Get Corel Print House, the easy all-in-one graphics powerhouse exclusively for Microsoft Windows 95. In our world, engineering and imagination know no boundaries. Introducing Corel Draw 6, the complete 32-bit graphics suite exclusively for Microsoft Windows 95. Only Corel Draw 6 delivers five graphics applications, eight utilities, 25,000 clip art images and symbols, 1,000 photos, 1,000 fonts, plus over 750 3D models. Get acquainted with the leader. The time is now. Choosing a movie just got a whole lot easier. Introducing Corel All Movie Guide, the ultimate multimedia movie expert. Brought to you by the world leader in graphic software, Corel All Movie Guide gives you interactive access to the most comprehensive movie database on CD-ROM. Enjoy hours and hours of entertainment, exploring the glamorous world of movie stars, directors, and behind-the-scenes cast and crew. Corel All Movie Guide, a must for all movie lovers. Prime's coverage of Rugby League is being brought to you by Corel WordPerfect, the best at word processing. Much cause for Irish celebration here at RFK Stadium. 14 to 12, our final, and one of the big reasons for Ireland's success. Without question, the place kicking of Phelan Cumberford. He's with Tim Singer. Well, there's no doubt about that, Derek. 14 to 12, NFL fans would know that'd be the difference of a couple of extra points, and it was your foot that really made the difference, Phelan. Like Thanks, Tim. Nice job out here. Talk about that last couple of minutes of what unfolded leading to the game-winning kick. That's one of those things. It's just a blank or a blur at the moment. The hardest thing to do, I think, underneath the sticks, just look, listen to all that crowd. You've got to cut it out and just hit it. How about this American team? You guys got the big jump early, maybe thought a route was in the process, and they hung tough. No, they, they're a good side. You can't say things like that. Rugby League's eight, game of 80 minutes. They held in there. We thought maybe they'd tire a little bit, but no, they kept coming and coming and coming. Good, hard, physical game, the way Rugby League should be played, and they're developing really strongly as a nation, just like we are. Just as important, how was your stay here in the USA? Yeah, you can't, can't fault the USA, man. It's a great place to come, great stadium to play in, and the crowd hopefully enjoy the game. Well, go celebrate. I understand you've got some much. Irish crowd over there. Thanks very much. Okay, Phelan, and let's go right back up to you. All right, Tim, here was the kick that ultimately decided the game, John Morgan. A little chip shot, a little two-foot putt. Uh, the USA missed a couple of those in the game, and that was the difference. The Irish made the kicks, the United States didn't. Even in rugby league, you can sometimes fall victim to the yips, but Phelan Comerford not in that category today. Success.